Thank you very much, Chris and Seanette. You're at Temple University Hospital. What's the mood there? Well, relief, Jason, is exactly what it is. We saw dozens of officers here tonight, uh, SEPTA police officers, Philadelphia police officers, uh, breathing a sigh of relief, and they were able to hear from their fellow officer after he was out of surgery. Cheers from dozens of officers gathered outside Temple Hospital tonight, awaiting the condition of the SEPTA officer shot earlier this evening. We later learned from SEPTA Police Chief Thomas Nestel that those officers received a FaceTime call from the officer, giving them the thumbs up that he is going to be okay. What we know is he is a SEPTA officer and a SWAT team member. He's a three-year veteran of the department and is 28 years old. He suffered a gunshot wound to the stomach covering for a Philadelphia police officer. Chief Nestel explains with preliminary information. The suspect began firing at the officers that were chasing him, and a Philadelphia officer was pinned down uh, by a, a small wall. Uh, the SEPTA officer is a, a SWAT team member. Um, he drew his, his assault weapon and charged forward, yelling to the officer to, to go, and he was covering that officer uh, as he got shot. SEPTA SWAT officers are on patrol, but Chief Nestel isn't sure at the moment how they got involved or were alerted to what was happening. The officer is surrounded right now by immediate family, including his mother, father, and brother. There are so many fantastic police officers out there. It doesn't matter the patch they wear and the badge that's on their chest. Um, police officers do this stuff when their brothers and sisters are, are in danger. And SEPTA Police Chief Nestel, who has also been with uh, Philadelphia Police at one point, says that they've been fortunate to have only one SEPTA transit police officer killed in the line of duty. That was Tom Sewell back in 1989. The officer shot tonight, we're told, again, is in stable condition after coming out of surgery. Jason? Thank you, Seanette. And we'll continue to follow this breaking news. We've been sending you alerts to your phone all night from our Fox 29 News app. More tomorrow morning on Good Day Philadelphia.